you're going to do first is check the end of the ear candle. You want to make sure it's clear and that you can see all the way through it. You're going to take it and gently place it in the person's ear canal to ensure fit. If it doesn't fit, you want to trim off just a little bit of the end. In order to start this project, you're going to get a paper plate and cut a little X in the middle. Then you're going to take the tapered end of the candle and put it through the X. Give yourself about three or four inches on the bottom of the plate and this is how you're going to put it in the person's ear. Okay, you're going to adjust this as you go down. You can move the plate a little further as it's burning. Okay, now the fun part. Again, candle is not damaged on either end. We're going to get our handy dandy lighters out. Make sure you're in a safe area and there's nothing around that could be burned. Make sure your hair is back and the person you're working with's hair is back. Have a wet handy towel around just in case. Go ahead and light your candle. What you want to do is keep your finger on the bottom of the candle, and this is going to prime it. Give it about 10 seconds of burning. If you look close, you can see the smoke starting to go through the candle. It travels down the length of the candle, and at the bottom, you'll see smoke coming out. When you're sure that happens, your candle's ready to go. Take it, gently place it in the person's ear canal, and give it a quick little twist. And you want to hold it in place and twist it until no smoke comes out of the ear canal anymore. And that's how you know you have a good fit. As the candle burns down, the flame may grow from two to six inches tall, and that's okay. You'll want to trim down the excess as it grows too high. Make sure you're using a high quality paper plate or else the candle can actually burn through. And that's why we have a cup of water here to extinguish anything. You'll want to continue the process of trimming the candle as it grows about an inch of ash on the top. The person may hear crackling sounds, may sound like burning. There should be no pain, no pressure. How are you feeling, Maria? Perfect. Nothing you probably. Each ear candle takes about 10 or 15 minutes to burn all the way down. Wait till you see when we cut it open. It relies on a semi-vacuum system where the smoke and the heating of the earwax inside the ear canal allows the particulates to rise into the candle. Similar to that as a vacuum cleaner. Frequently check back to make sure you still have a good seal around the ear canal. It's amazing what can be pulled out from, from the ear. It's a great way to relieve the head congestion, frees up your eustachian tubes, allows better sinus drainage, about halfway through. What is needed for ear candling? Ear candles, at least one per ear, but as many as three or four. Maybe uh, scissors or a simple knife, a paper plate, and damp towel is generally used, but that's optional. It's not necessary, but if you want to, as an option, have a damp towel with you, that'll be perfect. Uh, maybe a spray bottle, a small dish of water. As you've seen here, we've, we have a little cup of water. Um, a few cotton swabs on hand, and of course, um, an herbal ear oil. Me personally, I love the mullen. The, mun the mullen ear oil, it's awesome. Maria is a champ. <laughs> She's, <laughs> you're doing so well. And here we go. Remove from the ear. Make sure it's thoroughly doused. And you can see inside. Ew. As you can see, you got some goodies. That's a lot of mucus and wax and Yum. stagnant lymph that's been sitting congesting your sinuses, your ear canals, your eustachian tubes. This is the pressure you feel in your head. This is what's in your ears and you didn't even know it's there. Hi guys, we're back. We've just finished doing Maria's other ear and now it's time to put some willow garlic ear oil in her ear. 
This will help calm any of the inflammation, lubricate, and start offering some nutritive properties to her inner eardrum. So we'll get a nice clean cotton swab. And you just want to put a couple drops of the oil onto the cotton swab. You don't need too much. See, just a little bit. And you're going to gently swab the inside of her ear canal with this. This will calm, soothe, and clean what little remnants are left. And there you have it, ear candling at home.